Welcome to the Daily History Podcast, where every day we unravel the threads of our past to weave the rich tapestry of human history. Today's episode, The Secrets of the Egyptian Pyramids, Beyond the Pharaohs. Tombs invites you on an enthralling 20-minute journey to discover the hidden truths and marvels of Egypt's grand monuments. Let's step back in time to the land of the pharaohs and uncover the stories etched in stone and sand. Beneath the vast, silent expanse of the desert sky, the Egyptian pyramids stand as timeless sentinels, their colossal forms casting long shadows over the sands of history. These monumental structures have intrigued and mystified humanity for millennia, challenging archaeologists, historians, and travelers alike with their enigmatic presence. Erected during Egypt's Old Kingdom period, the design and construction of these imposing stone giants have long posed a myriad of perplexing questions. Who were the masterminds behind their architectural concepts, so advanced and precise that they defy straightforward explanation even in our modern era? How did the workers of antiquity, armed with nothing more than copper tools and sheer determination, carve and maneuver the massive limestone and granite blocks, some weighing up to 80 tons, into their eternal resting places? The Great Pyramid of Giza, in particular, constructed for Pharaoh Khufu around 2580 to 2560 BCE, stands as a testament to the incredible ingenuity of its creators. Its north-south axis is aligned with such staggering accuracy, it suggests an understanding of the Earth's dimensions that defies the knowledge of its time. While many speculate about the methods used, lever systems, ramps, or perhaps even knowledge now lost to us, the pyramid's construction remains emblematic of a civilization that reached for the stars. Beyond their sheer physicality lies a deeper enigma, the spiritual and cosmological principles that underpin their design. These structures were not simply tombs, they were a bridge to the divine, an ascension tool for the pharaohs, ensuring their place among the gods. The alignment with celestial bodies like the Orion Belt and the solstices hint at a profound link between heaven and earth, carved into the very stones of the pyramids. Legends have flourished around these silent witnesses of history, telling tales of hidden chambers and cursed explorers. Generations of Egyptologists, from the earliest adventurers like Jean-Francois Champollion, who unlocked the language of the hieroglyphs, to contemporary researchers harnessing cutting-edge technologies, have all sought to unravel the secrets cradled in the pyramid's ancient corridors. To stand before these awe-inspiring edifices is to stand at the crossroads of myth and reality, where the whispers of the past beckon us to look closer to question the very nature of human capability and ambition. Thus, the Egyptian pyramids, in their silent majesty, continue to inspire a sense of wonder and mystery, an abiding symbol of transcendence reaching far beyond their origins as mere tombs. As we travel back through the annals of time, the Egyptian pyramids appear to us as stone sentinels, standing as a testament to an era shrouded in mystique and majesty. The significance of these structures extends far beyond their immediate geography and timeline, marking a pivotal chapter in the grand narrative of world history. The pyramids arise from the dust of the fourth dynasty of Egypt's old kingdom, an age where divine rule was personified by the pharaohs, god kings whose authority was as absolute as the stone blocks of their tombs were large. It was during this era, mainly between 2613 and 2494 BC, that these monumental tombs began to dot the horizon of Giza's plateau. Pharaohs like Khufu, whose Great Pyramid remains one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, Khafre and Menkar, became eternal symbols of the power and technological capability of their civilization. The pyramids were not mere final resting places. They were intricate statements of ideology, harnessing a confluence of astronomy, religion, and state power. Their construction has inspired awe and bafflement in equal measure, as scholars and lay people alike ponder over how a society could achieve such architectural feats without the wheel or pulley systems, technologies that would only come to exist centuries later. Our journey through the corridors of time seeks to delve into the very essence of these iconic masterpieces. We stand on the cusp of veiled passageways and hidden chambers that hold stories waiting to be told, 
legacies waiting to be understood. The endeavor of our exploration is to illuminate the narrative beyond the common folklore and to grasp the true extent of the pyramid's legacy. These stone giants in history beckon to us with their age-old mystique, urging us to uncover how they continue to influence and fascinate us thousands of years after their creation. As the episode unfolds, keep in mind the allure of the unknown. Let's undertake a quest to decrypt the message of the ancients, a message carved in limestone and granite, echoing through the centuries to reach us here today in our quest for understanding the grandeur of our shared human past. The construction of the Egyptian pyramids remains one of the most remarkable achievements in human history. These stone giants stand as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of ancient Egyptian civilization. Let's dissect the sophisticated process that enables these wonders to reach for the skies. Imagine a time around 2600 BC during the fourth dynasty of ancient Egypt, a period marked by remarkable architectural ambition and prowess. The construction of a pyramid began with careful planning and precise geographical alignment, a feat that already suggests a deep understanding of mathematics and astronomy. The limestone blocks used were quarried using copper chisels and wooden wedges. Water was applied to these wedges, causing the wood to expand and the rock to crack. Simple, yet effective. The extracted stone blocks, some weighing upwards of two tons, posed a logistical marvel in an age without cranes. Remember, we're in an era defined by sheer human and animal strength, coupled with the most rudimentary of tools. Once quarried, these monolithic blocks were transported to the construction site. Theories suggest that the ancient Egyptians may have used sledges pulled over the sand. An intriguing detail, they likely wet the sand in front of the sledges to reduce friction, as evidenced in a wall painting discovered in the tomb of Jehuti Hotep, which depicts a large statue being moved in such a manner. Upon arrival at the site, the stones had to be assembled into the iconic pyramid shape meticulously. Accounts from Herodotus and archaeological findings indicate that a system of ramps might have been used to hoist the blocks in place, although the exact ramp design remains a subject of debate. Once in place, the precision of the stonework, aligned with celestial points, is nothing short of astonishing. But with all we know, questions linger about the exact methods the ancient Egyptians employed. How did they achieve such perfect alignment and uniform joint spaces with just simple plumb bobs and leveling instruments? How did they plan and execute such a massive project with astonishing symmetrical precision that has withstood the test of time? To this day, the exact techniques remain shrouded in mystery a proverbial grain of sand yet to be excavated from the desert's vast secrets. Through the sweat and toil of countless laborers, the vision of the pharaohs took physical form in the pyramids. These architectural marvels reflect a society organized and capable enough to mobilize a vast workforce with the single goal of ensuring their rulers' immortality. The pyramids, therefore, stand as silent yet enduring symbols of the technological triumphs of a civilization long gone. As we delve further into the lives of those who labored on the colossal constructs that are the Egyptian pyramids, we peer through the veil of time into the everyday existence of the ancient workers. These individuals, whose toils are immortalized in the limestone and granite, hailed from varied walks of life, from skilled artisans to seasonal laborers. Recent historical findings suggest that rather than the work of slaves, these grand projects were a national enterprise with workers contributing their labor as a form of tax during the flood season when their fields lay submerged. Inscriptions discovered near the pyramids of Giza shine a light on the organized labor force, known to the ancients as the Friends of Khufu. Teams were organized into units with names such as the Vigorous Gang, reflecting a camaraderie and pride in their work. They lived in a planned community, structured much like modern-day work towns, with bakeries, breweries, and large kitchen areas evident from the remnants uncovered. These workers were respected. They received medical care for their injuries, with evidence of surgeries and doctors suggesting an early form of social health care. The year was 2560 BCE when the Great Pyramid at Giza reached completion under Pharaoh Khufu. 
Centuries upon centuries hence, it was in 2010 when archaeologists discovered tombs in the shadows of the pyramids. Not for royalty, but for the pyramid builders, a testament to their esteemed status. These were tombs befitting those who had dedicated their lives to the eternal homes of their rulers, positioned so that they too could bask in the afterlife's glory. Stories echo through history about the rationing of beer and bread, which formed the sustenance for these workers, calculated not merely to dispense nourishment, but to foster unity. The Giza Plateau, more than just a construction site, was a buzzing nexus of human activity where the daily grind forged an intricate social structure. The workers' identities, we have uncovered, were inextricably tied to their roles in these grand projects, with records indicating that the laborers identified closely with the monuments they helped rise from the desert floor. Moving past the architects and the nobles, who are often the focus of historical reverence, current research imbues us with a veneration for the unsung masons, toolmakers, and overseers. Within the hieroglyphic records, we find mention of Imhotep, the renowned architect of the Djoser Step Pyramid, reverberating the names of those who also deserve our remembrance and respect. As the ephemeral presence of these builders dissolves into the dust of history, we are left only with pieces of their lives, small tokens and fragments from which we strive to piece together the grand puzzle of their society. This humble community of workers, intricate in its operation, was the silent force that propelled pharaohs into eternity. And now, as we pay homage to the craftsmen, to the everyday citizens of ancient Egypt, we don't just reconstruct the pyramids stone by stone, but we rebuild the lives and society that flourished around them, sifting through the sands of time to uncover the humanity behind the monuments. In this segment of Daily History Podcast, we delve into the profound mystique that surrounds the creation of the Egyptian pyramids. These structures, rooted in the religious and cultural fabric of ancient Egypt, were far more than mere edifices of stone. They were mirrors of the cosmos, reflecting a civilization's spiritual aspirations. The pyramids, especially the ones at Giza, were conceived in the 3rd millennium BCE, at a time when Egypt was steeped in ritual and mythology. The pharaohs, revered as gods on earth, commissioned these grand monuments as part of their divine journey after death. It's astonishing, isn't it, how the design of the pyramids was not just about architectural prowess, but filled with rich symbolism. The pyramids were oriented with such precision, they mirrored the stars. The Great Pyramid's alignment with the compass points is nearly perfect, and some theories suggest that it is structured to align with the constellation of Orion, a figure highly regarded in Egyptian mythology. The layers of meaning within their structure extend from honoring the deities to facilitating a pharaoh's transcendence to the afterlife. The ancient Egyptians believed in a universe where humans, nature, and the divine were intricately connected. Each part of the pyramid's design served to honor this connection. The pyramid's shape itself, ascending towards the sky, symbolized the rays of the sun and was thought to act as a ramp for the pharaoh's soul to ascend to the heavens. Even the placement and orientation of the pyramids in relation to the Nile reflected the mythical significance of this river as a life-giving force. In death, as in life, the pharaohs remained the divine link between their people and the gods, a belief firmly cemented in the consciousness of the society of that time. Fast forward to the modern era, and the fascination with these ancient wonders persists. How we interpret the pyramids today is still influenced by the awe they inspired in our ancestors. Every new archaeological discovery can shift our understanding of these timeless enigmas, yet some secrets remain, forever locked in stone. Modern esoteric and metaphysical theories often draw upon the pyramid's grandeur, using them as a symbol of ancient wisdom and knowledge, possibly even attributing them supernatural origins, despite clear historical and archaeological evidence to the origins of their construction. The Egyptian pyramids, as a fusion of human ingenuity and profound symbolism, continue to be a cultural touchstone for humanity. They remind us of an epoch where the divine was the cornerstone of daily life, where each architectural triumph was a step closer to immortality, and each king's journey into the afterlife became a legend etched in stone and time. 
As we draw near to the final moments of today's episode, we cast our minds back, reflecting on the revelations and enigmas our exploration has unearthed. The Egyptian pyramids, these time-defying stone sentinels, have stood as silent witnesses to millennia of human history. Each block, each passageway, every chamber, a testament to an ancient world teeming with industriousness and aspirations. The pyramids, birthed from the desert's vastness circa 2550 to 2490 BCE during Egypt's Fourth Dynasty, represent more than mere tombs for the eternal rest of pharaohs such as Khufu, Khafre, and Menkare. They embody the zenith of ancient engineering, culture, and spirituality, standing proud as pinnacles of civilization's might and humanity's relentless quest for immortality. Their construction remains an enigma, a symphony of human endeavor, with countless hands and hearts contributing to their creation. These workers, often celebrated as skilled laborers rather than slaves, orchestrated the transport of mammoth limestone and granite blocks across the Nile. They orchestrated an architectural ballet, erecting structures so precise that even modern technology strains to replicate their accuracy. We stand in awe of the Great Pyramid, its sides harmoniously aligned with the cardinal points, its base covering 13 acres. Historians and archaeologists still marvel at the precise placement of over 2.3 million blocks, a feat that challenges our modern understanding. The mystery of the Giza Pyramid's construction is a historical cliffhanger that continues to captivate scholars and enthusiasts alike as they delve into the stone annals of a civilization that has long since turned to dust. And yet, despite the centuries, the core of what the pyramids stand for has not diminished. They continue to ensnare our collective imagination, fueling narratives that span the gamut from scholarly debates to tales of otherworldly origins. These structures, a harmonic blend of mathematics, astronomy, and geometry, challenge us to consider the vastness of human potential and the depth of our ancestral knowledge. As we put the final touch to today's narrative, let us take with us a sense of appreciation for the enduring legacy of the pyramids. They are not just relics of a bygone era, but living monuments arousing curiosity and demanding respect. They are the intellectual and spiritual scaffolding on which much of early human progress was built. The pyramids of Giza remain as some of the most magnificent and mystifying masterpieces of human artistry, silently echoing the eternity of the human spirit throughout the ages. In contemplating these grandiose stone giants, we grasp a clearer understanding of our own place in the grand tapestry of time, connecting with those ancient architects of the afterlife who reached for the stars and in doing so, left an indelible mark on the earth beneath our feet. The echoes of their achievements will resound in the annals of history forever, a legacy inscribed not just in stone, but in the very essence of human endeavor. As we conclude today's journey through the sands of time, we're reminded that history is not just about the dates and the dead, it's a living, breathing legacy that continues to shape who we are. History is a canvas, and every day we paint a new part of the picture that tells the story of us all. Thank you for joining us on the Daily History Podcast. Your curiosity fuels our exploration, and your support makes this journey possible. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts with us. We welcome you to comment with your suggestions for future episodes. The topic with the most likes will be featured in an upcoming podcast. Your voice matters, and together we will uncover the endless secrets that history has yet to reveal. Until next time, keep exploring, keep wondering, and most importantly, stay connected with us. Your next historical adventure awaits.